All right, there we go. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Entropy Cast, the straight shot, one take recording. Well, I, I, I say one take, this is the third uh, of conversation, or occasionally a monologue of me, your host, Justin, slowly just following my train of thought with minimal scripting, as well as occasionally having a guest on so that I sound a bit less unhinged. Today, uh, we have John, who I, it took seven weeks to get on and has had me restart the recording. So, John, how are you doing? What's up, guys? Doing really good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. I feel, I feel bad. Straight shot for, one take uh... recording already restarted three times. <laughs> we fucking hey. Need to it. Hey. I could hear myself in the recording. That's, that's, that's what happened. It was part of the troubleshooting before we started. Yeah, but it also... I was interrupting myself. How did... And it made me feel hella awkward. Oh my god. Fucker. Whatever. Oi. Whatever. God damn it. Uh, Don't tell me you've never interrupted your damn self. I haven't. Within the recording. I haven't. It's not a problem I have, because I know it's a recording. I know it's me, John. Maybe, maybe I'm just a little bit different. Uh huh. I can tell. <laughs> I I don't. <laughs> I can kind of tell. I uh, uh this week to drink we got some uh, for the second time saying this we got a mucho mango again because i didn't go to the liquor store but instead of mango malibu we have watermelon malibu and i don't know how it's gonna go because i don't think mango and malibu mix well and i got a real feeling it's gonna be bad couldn't tell you yet though and uh john over here has what you got buddy i have some kava kava all right uh... yeah other other known as Kava Kava, it is uh, a root uh, well, that they grind up on the Pacific Islands, and then you drink it, and it gets you buzz slash high, but it's also completely legal, so. It doesn't taste good. I just tried. Yeah, that, that, that did not. <laughs> that was bad. I already it did not this. look too pleasant. It, it did not look too. It tasted like it tasted like watered down cantaloupe. It was really disappointing. I don't know why I'm looking like Jesus more and more. You keep leaning again. into the light. Like I, I don't get it. Why is it that when you get closer it, to the camera, you get? Why are you doing crunches? Why is it that when you get closer to the camera, you get brighter? <laughs> I don't know. You're. Your camera settings are all I'm, fucked up. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure my drivers are fucked. I mean, they gotta be. <laughs> they yeah. gotta be. I don't know what happened. God damn I have you. no idea what happened. God damn it. Fuck no. But, uh... Oh. Yeah? Nice, nice one. Just, your fucked drivers, again. How many times have you had no. to reinstall your drivers, by the way? Uh, for the camera? Yeah. Well... Double this would be the right. first time. Oh, really? Actually. Yeah. That's wild. I thought it was more. I mean, I've updated them, mm. but beyond that, mm. this would be the first time, like, diagnosing them and shit. Sure. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I definitely thought that this was, like, double digits now of you having to re repair your fucking what camera drives. <laughs> Look, John, you what? show up with your camera not working half the time. So do I? Yeah, like half the time you're like my fucking settings are all messed up again. Like I literally I don't like, recall. Really? That. Well, you're high most of the time. I am high most of the time. You you are correct. So you didn't you also didn't remember that I said that we were recording on Saturday and here we are on Sunday recording because you didn't fucking show up. I mean I was really high when we talked about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God damn it. It's a shocker that I'm, I'm anything. <laughs> and for everybody it's listening, shy. I fucking blocked him on Discord. I can't even, I can't message him, he can't message me. I have to manually, manually invite him to this server. 
a Discord server I have made for this reason. For for three days. Yeah. Uh, for actually. Or four 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 days. Four days. Yeah. Three days now, I guess. Technically, technically, yeah. You skated by on one day without knowing. But now you got three days. It could end. But he also, he also, you know, he he, he works for the next, like, yeah. how many days? <laughs> for the next five. five well, five <laughs> so, days. So, uh. It's not like it's going to make a difference. What, you're not going to be able to message me while I'm at work? What a shame. I remember last yeah, time I, I tried to... to get into a fucking Discord call with you while I was at work, and you fucked off for 12 hours while I sat alone in a Discord call. I won't be able to message you at work, and then uh, once you get off work, I'll just message you in my own Discord, and yeah. we'll play some games. Yeah, it's the only way you can do it. You don't have to <laughs> Forcing you to use the fucking Discord that you made. God damn it. I gotta take a sip of this. Yeah, you can finally drink it. I refuse to let you do it uh, before. So cheers, I guess. There cheers. Here's to yeah. not remembering. Yeah, how about? It's a, it's a rough drink. I'm gonna be real with you. My cantaloupe watermelon... Well, my watermelon mango is not good. And it's kind of making me uh, a little nauseous. But... Uh, I'm gonna finish it. Kava's not a not a pleasant drink either, my friend. I didn't think it was. Every time I see you drink it, you cringe up and struggle. Like now. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn. Justin's looking at my face. Yeah, we have we got cams on. Of course we do. Every time there's a fucking guest on, we're gonna have cams on so that we can actually see what's happening because these drinks that we drink are not always pleasant most of the time they're very unpleasant fair so you know we uh we do what we can to make good content doesn't happen most of the time <laughs> i'll tell you that i know i know what's i know what's going to be a comment mm -hmm. eventually mm -hmm. When are we going to show our faces? My face is around. Well, I meant, like, when oh, are we going to show our face? Yeah, like, actively on the podcast as we're talking. I know that's going to eventually be a question in the comments. If it's constant, if they want it, like, constantly, uh, probably not soon. Probably not any time uh, as this is being recorded. February of 2022. Probably not any time soon of now. Um, surely there will be one that's actually just live recorded because I intend to do the boat one on the 22nd episode. So, this is episode four. Is that your intent of me to fly? Yeah, you got, fly you got 18 weeks. Woo! <laughs> you got 18 weeks, John. That's your, that's your warning, buddy. Well. Yeah. I mean, I'll be there. All right. There we go. Episode 22 you, is the boat episode. You guys, <laughs> you guys heard it on this episode. I will be there. All right. And Come episode 23, so we'll, you're not going to be there, and I'm going to fucking block you for another five days. So we'll... Potentially one other friend. Yeah, but that's unknown. Yeah, it's unknown if they're if they they don't even know they're if they're invited, do they? That's a no. No, <laughs> that's they, a no. they don't. All right, there we go. But to be fair, neither of us have actually spoke to them. True. About it. True. That's a surprise. That's a surprise to a little help us later. They might show up, they might not. If they do, there you go. Might be a three-person boat podcast. Goddamn. That's gonna be wild. It's gonna be wet and wild. One of us is gonna fall in. I really hope it's not me. That would suck. It's my don't give podcast. said person any, any liquor in the boat. No, I don't. I won't. 
It's not gonna happen. No, no liquor for them on the boat. What about on the shore? Then we get in the boat. Is that still a no? Depends how much. Mm, two shots. Forty percent. That'll be fine. Two forty yeah. percent shots aside. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Hell yeah. That's that's little. He'll, be, he'll be buzzing pretty good in the boat. All right, we'll all do two forty percent shots then. <laughs> it'll be it'll be bad, really. I'll just I'll just take a couple shots and then take some like swigs out of your flask or some shit. Yeah. And yeah. I'll be smooth sailing. This boat has been brought up on two episodes in a row now, by the way. It's oh, it's just gonna show up in every single episode up until that point. Guaranteed. Do you have a do you <laughs> I don't remember us having this conversation. Do you have a boat? No. I have 18 weeks to get you down here, maybe another person, a boat, and a lake. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, John. It's a struggle. We're four episodes Aww. in, and I've already got plans to get a goddamn boat. Fuck. <laughs> well, if, if we need to get a boat, I can... <laughs> at least, at least... Rent a boat. At least rent a boat. Yeah. Well, you you see the problem here, right? Is that I I what? did not give myself enough time to actually do this, but I said it, and I was drinking, and I stick to what I say. I said episode twenty two. I was drunk. It's gonna be episode twenty two. I don't care. It was said. I mean, you're committing to what you say, so that's not a bad thing. No, but it screws me over most of the time. Fuck that. What do you mean, fuck that? <laughs> I mean, fuck that. I mean, I, I mean, fuck that, but it's not gonna screw you over. My guy, I, I, even if, if I, I said, if John doesn't end up showing up, I'll find a boat, and I'll fucking row out there by myself and record it. I'm pretty sure those are my exact words. I think I said if no one else ends up showing up, for my actual words. Don't, but. don't, don't fucking do that. Why not? It would be funny. Hey everybody, I what rode out you... to the middle of a lake, and I'm recording this podcast alone, in a boat. Um, <laughs> what if you die? I mean, the fucking, the recording equipment would be waterproof, so it would just be the final episode of the podcast. What? I, what, what, I don't see a problem with this. Horrible, horrible idea. What? That's, that is the most listened to podcast in the world. Man rose in, uh, out to the middle of a lake in a boat alone and posted after having died. That is incredible to, content. To be fair, you'd listen to it. I would. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. On the other note, I don't want my friend to die. Well, even even if we are. The entropy cast. cast. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Shut, shut the hell up. Well, you didn't remember the name of the podcast. Not okay. I didn't earlier. Okay. <laughs> I we had a lot of conversations about a lot of different names, and I was high during that conversation. You're always high, though. I mean, it's COVID, man. What does that have to do with being high? You don't get high on COVID. No, but <laughs> it makes it a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> okay, John. Okay. So, oh my god. This motherfucker. What? <laughs> Oi! What? What? By the way, for everybody, because uh, nobody knows what you look like, actually. Um, the best way you can picture him, there have been a few descriptions that have been given out. We've got one, uh, the Smash player Wes Falls. Looks a lot like him. I say he looks a lot like Jesse Pinkman. Or Aaron Paul, as the actor's name. 
And the other one was, was it, I think it was, I think I said Young Hutch, like Hutch the YouTuber, if anyone remembers him. Looks yeah, so much like him. Also, used to go by Hutch's Yo Daddy, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Looks almost identical to all of those three. Yeah, that, that's me. Yep, there it is. Except right now, I look like a <laughs> angelic being. Yeah, you got to fix how blown out your camera is. It's a bit odd. It's not exactly... Like, you are... It, it, you can... Realistically, the best way I could describe it, everything is blown out behind you. Your fucking chair is solid white. It looked... Oh, yeah, all right, you disappeared. You blew smoke, and it literally <laughs> turned solid white. Yeah. Why does, like, everything for me looks fine back there. Mm -hmm. Like, does it not for you? Uh, it does, but those don't have as much, like, necessary balance. Like, it's probably auto-balancing yeah. you because you're in the forefront. As opposed to, like, the fucking cabinets. The weird thing is, is all the, like, auto features are turned off. Mm hmm And, uh, I just adjust them manually, and it always resorts in this. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> I think that you're just not adjusting them correctly. Well... Yeah. At some point, you're gonna have to teach me how to adjust them. <laughs> you probably have your white balance turned all the way up. Guaranteed. Nah, it's like a quarter of the way Is up. Your saturation fucked. This shit, we got real. We got into we got into fixing your camera real quick. We got it. Well, this, this is a future really problem. Did. This is a future problem. We're, we'll do this later. Future. Future like, problem. Come on. I uh I got some chips that I was going to try. I uh I'm not a giant fan of Grippo's barbecue chips. You ever had them? What? Grippo's barbecue chips. They come in a like metallic bag with a red top oh. and it's got a oh really? You haven't? They're alright, but they're like oh, it's probably a like East Country thing. No? Northeast? It's probably in the, it's that probably says, my side of the That country. says East Country. <laughs> um I'm a fan of barbecue chips though. Like are they, okay. are they just are they just horrible barbecue chips? They're not horrible at all. They're um But you said they're... you're not a fan of them. It doesn't mean they're horrible. <laughs> you just don't enjoy them as much as I enjoy others. I trust your opinion. They're like, as far as barbecue chips go, they're one of the better ones, but I'm not a giant barbecue chip guy. It's not really my thing. If I want chips, I want them to be, like, spicy. So. Fair. But, um, That's very fair. I had those, and there are also some of those, what's it called, chips? The, um, God damn, I forgot what they're called. Flamin' Hot Dill Pickle Lays. In there. I haven't tried them yet. They all got eaten before I could get to them. The dill pickle lays. Mm -hmm. I've tried those. Fire. They're really, really good. Nice. Maybe I'll get to try them next time I buy them. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope so. So, both bags are gone. The Grippos, no. The Flamin' Hot Dill Pickles, ah. yes. Are you going to try them for us? What, the Grippos? Oh. I ate oh, the Grippos. Already... I did not eat the Flamin' Hot Dill Pickle. Those are just... You already tried them. Before I got to them, yeah. Sad. I did, yesterday, however, have a, um... A tuna steak? I'm not a big fish guy. Shit. Well, I guess that... Yeah. What you... What's confusing about a tuna I guess steak? I... Yeah, I guess I have had a tuna steak before. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, it just sounded weird to me. 
I mean, it's just it's just fish cut like a steak. Yeah. It was uh as far as like fish go. One of the better ones I've had. I'm not really a not really a fan of fish, honestly. I don't really have a problem with it, but I don't know. Not my thing. Tried some salmon at one point. It was okay. I had the I I think it's cod that they sell at Long John Silver's. Also okay. Yeah. Do a steak though? Uh, yeah, it was the better one. I've had various sushi. Don't remember any of them. I think that one of my favorite like steaks mm-hmm. uh in the seafood variety that I've had yeah. was actually swordfish uh in Monterey, which was the cheese? Actually huh? the cheese? No, not Monterey Jack yes. <laughs> Where is Monterey? I know the Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's got to be yeah, near the ocean, a... then. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's in California, oh. but it's it's uh, on the coast of California. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, right, right below San Francisco. Thank you. When you said, I was like, yeah. it has to be near the water, and you're like, yeah, it's on the coast of California. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. you're welcome. Thanks. That narrows it down too. Three fourths of the left side of the country. <laughs> Just what the fuck? Uh, my mind, my mind is in a wild place. God damn it! I heard they have an aquarium. To, oh wait, I just said that the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I don't. I've never been to a, like many aquariums. They're just not. I don't know. I'm going to say that the Monterey Aquarium is actually not. Not as, yeah, it's not as hypey as what I heard it was. It's an aquarium. I don't know what you expect. You walked into well, a giant fish tank and were like, I'm it, excited. I, well, exactly. <laughs> it, but it was the... <laughs> Jamie was like, hey, this aquarium's like the one of the best aquariums that I've ever been to ever seen mm-hmm. i've even been to some like on the east mm-hmm. east coast uh and it was just like i walked in there and i was like what the hell it, it's like a fish tank. like even even though there's a lot of controversy with sea world it's like it's, I, I had a better experience at sea world <laughs> okay <laughs> All right, you you a big Sea World huh. guy? I'm not a I'm not really a big Sea World guy, but I had a better experience at Sea World, right? Than I did at Monterey. That's pretty fucking sad. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't I I don't see the. I am again not a big fish guy. I could take it or leave them. Not a fan of the flavor. Not a fan of the look. They they offer nothing to me. They uh. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really do much. You could walk yeah, into uh, an aquarium. Motherfuckers just sit there and swim in circles. Not my thing. Little little stingrays, okay. It's not a fish. Well, I know it's not a fucking fish. <laughs> but little stingrays aquatic animal. Uh-huh. They look like little damn puppies. Still not a fish. What what kind of fish are you not fond of? John, if you picture a fish in your head, you don't go, ah, oh, yes, stingray. You go, ah, oh, yes, trout. Ah, oh, yes, salmon. Ah, oh, yes, clownfish. I don't care about them. I guess that's fair. Well, they're boring. I don't like fish, man. They take up a lot of water and a lot of space and a lot of cleaning. For being so small. That is actually very true. I was at the land where you have to walk like a dog is lower maintenance than a fucking fish that sits in a tank for the entire day. (laughs) I don't understand, man. I don't get fish. I don't get fish owners. That's a lot of effort. I was one for a 
small amount of time. You gotta walk in there and check their filtration and be like, is their pH right? And you gotta go and get them specialized food. You gotta get them like a tank that's for like a two little betta fish. You gotta get them like a 50 gallon tank that's absurd. That's insane. You gotta get them enrichment toys that have to be cycled out every so often so they don't get bored. Whereas a dog, you're like, hey motherfucker, come over here, let me pet you. You make sure it gets fed, make sure it gets water, you make sure it goes outside, you walk it. You play with it. I mean, to be fair... Well, I'm done. I, I, uh, there is no argument about how a dog is better than a fish. I, I completely agree. I don't get it. I don't understand fish people. Just, there's no point. Get a better pet, asshole. Also, <laughs> you know, a dog can help in a fucking home invasion unlike shit fish. like that so, unlike <laughs> fish I mean, what, what the fuck is a fish gonna do jump out of the fucking tank and do some karate or some shit yeah, just get a few piranhas little well yeah okay that's a whole different story <laughs> no man just, fish don't serve a purpose I hate fish let me just uh sick my piranhas on this fucking <laughs> Robber, real fast. I mean, might as well. At some point, the fish gotta earn their keep. What do the fish do? Uh, use an overabundance of resources. That's right. For absolutely no reason. That's right. Fish do fuck all, and all they do is take. Unless, unless obviously you're eating said fish, but well, that I mean, that's, that's not the same thing as having a pet fish. Yeah. You don't go have a pet pig and then eat it for breakfast. Well. It's different. You raise the pig for that purpose. I mean. John, yes and no. John, you don't. If you do, you have a problem. Uh, you're getting way too emotionally attached to an animal you're going to eat. There have been people who have done that. Yeah, but not after, not like for the sole purpose of eating the pig. No, but they... It tastes better when it's happy. Like, I don't... <laughs> don't do that. I've never heard of anybody doing that. I've never heard of anyone raising a pig as a pet. Rest, for food. Rest in, rest in peace, little piglet. Like, from Winnie the Pooh? Why is that guy uh, naked? Who? Winnie the Pooh! He wears a shirt! Hey. Yeah, does just wear a shirt. What's wrong with this guy? Name's a nude. Well, he's a half a nudist. I don't know. Aren't him... they all old as shit? Technically, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, they're all like how old is old Winnie the Pooh? As shit. To be very honest with you, I have no clue. Why would you? Why do you know about Winnie the Pooh lore? Well, again, Jamie really liked Winnie the Pooh. Why is it Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh, fucking yeah, man! They're they all walk around pantsless and they're all really old. What is happening, John? I went in uh, seven weeks. You come on and you're like Winnie the Pooh's old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a animal nudist colony. What well, is happening? That, Except really, really old animal nudist colony. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> God damn it. How, I'm the how one is it? To be unhinged. How, yeah, how is it that you're, you're the one that's saying what's happening? And, <laughs> what the fuck? I, I was talking about how fish are inferior pets and useless. And now you're like, Winnie the Pooh's old and the nudist. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you were... What happened, dude? I, uh... I think I became unhinged. Yeah, welcome to the goddamn podcast. Fuck. Uh, yo, I'm actually really glad to be here. Uh, uh-huh. You would have been probably more I, uh... glad the first week I asked, but... You know. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> Show up next time.
<laughs> I I showed up this time on the wrong day. <laughs> well, not technically. I showed up like I showed up last night. Technically, but... you showed up in the morning for me on Sunday. You did show up at 3.30 for me. That's true. That's true. That's true. So. You know how it is. These things but technically, happen. I am wrong. Te- technically, I am false. But on my time. Your time's the wrong I showed time. Up. Go fuck yourself. Oi! That's rude. Well. Someone ghosted me for seven weeks. I. <laughs> Man. <laughs> just for the record, Dang. it seems like I'm really ribbing him here, but he is smiling and laughing. It's just not being picked up. He is smiling and laughing. I am. I am smiling and laughing. That's why the cameras are important to the podcast. They gotta be here. It's, it's a necessity. Also, also, Justin, Justin does this a lot too. Yeah, it's just friendly, friendly Ben. I got it. Otherwise, you get too big for your britches, and you're a very small man. Well, yeah. <laughs> I gotta keep you in check. I'm a solid five seven. Oh, that's pretty short. No, that's, no, you're pretty short, man. That's rough. Be real with you. Yeah, I'm you might solid, have to start wearing stilettos. I'm a solid one inch. Yeah, taller than the average. Yeah, female. Congrats. You're above average in something. Mhm. You heard me. Did you finish your comedy yet? Uh, no. <laughs> Why? I'm almost done with mine. We still got a second episode what? to record after this. I know. Oh my god. Also, if it seems like we're talking real slow, or if this podcast is moving abnormally slow, I've been up for about 30 hours. John's been up for 15. What? <laughs> No, earlier we calculated it. It was like 14. I was up for 13 or 14 hours, one of the two. Yeah. So now it, we should be pushing like 16, 17. What? That was right before we came in here. We're oh. 33 minutes in. That was like three league games ago. What? Yeah. I don't believe it. My man's losing track of time. I've been up for 30 hours. And I, I'm i also the one that became unhinged and shocked him on what we were talking about. I, I don't know why you know that there it's an animal nudist colony, and they're all really old. That's not <laughs> normal to have. Like, I know a fucking obscene amount about Scooby-Doo, but... Like, come on. I mean... I'm not saying that it was legitimate lore, or bored on a podcast bored. that's going on the internet. It's real. I mean, at this point, it's real. Yeah, yeah. it can't be disputed. It's anymore. solidified. Anything that's said in this podcast is solidified until it's retracted. I mean, I wonder if anybody's gonna like end up trying to like fact check. Check out oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I mean, I already uh, talked about because somebody hasn't listened to the podcast. <clears throat> um, yeah, I already talked about whether or not I could cook stuff in the like laundry machines. That shit's gonna be fact checked. I don't know if it's possible. I'm gonna try though. You can boil water in a washing machine. In in a laundry. Yeah, like a washer and a dryer. You know how hot a dryer so, gets? Well, yeah. How hot? Give me the number. 
Well, I don't yeah, know the right. exact number, but it's <laughs> fucking hot. It's 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Which, for all you, uh, all you fucking metric users out there, that's, a hundred, that's 101 degrees Celsius. Ish. So technically, you could cook a pork chop to the... Yeah. The correct temperature. Yep. Technically. Yup. In a dryer. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. I found out how hot a toaster gets, too. Toasters get really hot. I believe the number for a toaster to toast bread was, like, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. What? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You could literally... No wonder my toast is so damn hot coming, yeah. coming out of the fucking thirst. It's bro. 1,000 degrees. Fuck? That's why the metal er, glows red. Because it's literally been heated to 1,000 degrees. That's why I, I landed. I feel like I need to You're gonna... finish the... Yeah, go for it. Go ahead and finish it. Or don't. Wait, on this next episode, do we make new drinks? Yes. Oh, God. Yes, John. Welcome to the podcast. This is why you listen to him before you get on. Just saying. I'm gonna die. Well, these things happen. Finish the podcast first. That's what I'm... <laughs> that's the plan. Go ahead. In the, wor- in the worst case scenario, this is my... Uh, fucking. This is my eulogy. Yeah, right. You drinking a drink while talking about nudist colony Winnie the Pooh? Yep. All right. <laughs> a hell of a last I thing mean, to leave. It, it works. All right. I mean, fair enough. I guess. Not my problem. Are you? And I'm talking to drink it or not? I'm, yeah. Okay, just making sure. You just gotta swirl in it around. Yeah, it's... I'm debating. Mm-hmm. As long as you have to debate. I don't know about that. I think I can just send it. Look, last time I choked. I was coughing for like a 30 seconds. It was not good. Why? Well, last time I... On the last podcast, I drank something and nearly choked to death. Oh. Yeah. Choke is. I drank it too quickly and I inhaled it. What happens? That all happened. Yep. What can you do? Drink better? Is there proper form for drinking? You go ahead and drink that. I'll just. Um, I wonder if there's like a proper way to drink something. I mean. I am going to drink this, but. Yes, I think there is. A lot of people who, like, charge you and, like... Yeah, they open their throat and shit. Yeah, it's just, like... I I don't know... Like, if it's something you can train yourself to do, I assume it is. But you just open the throat and you just guzzle it down. I assume it's pretty much like... uh, it's not like a proper uh, drink, is it? I think it's just like a borderline deep liquor. Alright, well, that's not where I expected you to take that. I, <clears throat> I was very much asking for a proper way to drink something, and you've once again taken it from. We got nudist way to poo, and we got deep throating liquid. Fucking drink your drink. <laughs> We're laughing. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, right. Drink your goddamn drink. Here, I'll finish mine off, and. I have like a third this of my is, cup left. This is comedy gold, right? No, it's really Man, not. This geez. is a, this is horrible. Fucking hell. I got kind of used to the taste. It's not that bad anymore. It's still not good, but oh, not something I'd serve to someone else. I'll say that. <sighs> I think. They just 
heard my throat go wow. It happens. <laughs> it, it's fine. It adds to the it adds to the effect. Fair. So John, I've got a business plan. I'm coming to you with a business idea. And I wanna know your thoughts on it, alright? So I'm going to literally reinvent the wheel. Okay. What? I'm going to literally reinvent the wheel. Continue. So I think that at the moment we have wheels that are too easily like tires that are too easily poppable for cars. So, what I'm going to do, instead of having them inflated, is I'm going to make them out of a plastic polymer slash rubber uh, polymer mix that looks kind of like those bikes that you see people pedal out onto the water. You know the ones I'm talking about? I want the tires on a car to end up looking like that. So that way, it's not as much of a popped tire that ends up breaking the entire thing. And it can go over things more easily than a tire, because it will be able to step up. There's less likelihood that it ends up breaking something, and if you run over something, then there's a chance you don't even touch it with the tire. What the fuck? What? Caught me off guard with this. Hell, and yeah, I have no idea because I was prepped for this. Um, give me, give me the things you think are flaws. Can't think of any, huh? That's too good. It's too good of an idea. Beyond, like, uh, like, have you looked into the aerodynamics of? Everything? It's a wheel, John. The wheels are not going to get more aerodynamic. Okay, okay, fine, sorry. Traction. Uh, who needs traction when it's like you're fucking stepping? Feet have traction. These tires will have traction. It's just a bunch of really quick steps, but as a wheel. So are you talking about attaching, like, basically extremely strong plastic feet to tires? Essentially. essentially? But just replacing the tire with them. It's like a water bike, but for cars. Oh, then you could drive on the water! I've just invented the first... Universal car. Can't go in air yet. Why don't... Why Why wouldn't you just go with, like, a... a bike? <laughs> well, no. Not a, not a bike. But more like a... Um... Mm-hmm. I see no problem with this idea. It wouldn't be hard to market, either. Better tire. You're trying to... Reinvent the wheel. Reinvent the wheel, but you're trying to reinvent the wheel based upon the idea that the wheel... <laughs> Excuse me. The wheel is too uh, poppable, right? Yeah. I've popped four sets of tires within the last, like, four months. So... Why don't you just try to design a more uh, viable wheel? Because I'm not a scientist, John. I don't think it takes a, you to be a scientist to do that. How do I develop a more like durable rubber without being a scientist? Encase it in steel? Steel tires. Tech Technically, you don't. 
doesn't it's not required for a wheel to be rubber. I don't know how polymers work. I don't know how wheels work. I know they're circles and they have traction. I don't know where the traction comes from, if I'm being honest with you. I think it has something to do with the grooves. But that's about all I know. I don't understand tires. It's it's a rough life. So I'm trying to replace them with feet. Because I understand how feet work. But they're also more durable. They're more effective. You can climb stuff in your car. Think about that. The only problem would be their durability again. Because they would probably break and fall because the car is heavy. But if you do titanium, titanium pegs, or titanium flaps, it would just work. I don't see a reason it would fail. It's hard to deny, huh? It is hard to debate. <laughs> It definitely sounds good on paper. It does. No. Sounds good on paper. I I would I would at least test some shit. You know? Now my bet, I haven't looked this up at all. This is all just off the top of my head. My bet, yeah. this probably already exists. And it's like stupidly expensive. Almost guaranteed. For cars? For cars. Or like... Almost guaranteed. I mean, it probably is. It probably does already exist. Which is but, so I upsetting. Mean, if we, if we end up looking it up sometime and there's no patent for it, then fucking send it. Yeah. Let's oh, send it. I had I'll, an. I'll, I'll toss you ten k. Let's go. <laughs> I had an incredible idea for a alcohol delivery service. All right, they would go to the liquor store and pick it up for you and deliver it to you in case like didn't want to drive there or whatever, but specifically for alcohol, all right? I was yeah. like, this is such a cool idea, this is so good. And then I found out that that already exists. And I was... Where the, where the fuck does that exist? It's called Drizzly. You know, what I just noticed is this is also the third episode in a row I'm talking about delivery services, and I'm giving them free advertisement without even being sponsored, and I'm, I'm losing out on money. It's called Drizzly, though. D R I Z L Y. Try it. Look it up real quick. Drizzly. Yeah, they just deliver alcohol. Only alcohol. And mixers for the alcohol. But... Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> never heard of it before, right? Oh, yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah, no, I got screwed over. I was like, this is such a cool idea. I'm going to call it Cheers, and the logo is going to be like a beer glass with the H being the glass and the C being the handle. And I was like, that'll be really fucking cool. It's a cool logo. It would be a great business idea. People who are drinking alcohol probably shouldn't drive to get more alcohol. It would be a good idea to have the app. Make it safer. Yeah. Make a profit. Provide a business need. There's a demand. Be the supply. Uh, it already exists. And it's actually uh, fairly popular. So. <laughs> Screwed myself over there. Well, I mean. Regardless. You can always contact them. That's true. It's not very, uh... That's true. They'd give them free sponsorship. Drink alcohol, we can give them a free sponsorship. True. Hey guys, do you want to throw me like 20 bucks so I can go get food? Oh. You'd probably do it. Look. They would <laughs> possibly, at least, maybe sponsor uh, you. That would be interesting. Why not? Which would be wild. That would be funny. Hey guys, this uh, t how many 12 sub podcast are going to sponsor? How much are they I getting paid think... a month? 20 bucks. Why don't we take those? I, I don't think you can legally get paid in alcohol. So. You can. Well, you, can, you can't, but they can be gifts as part of the sponsorship. Yeah, I know my legality. That's true. Uh, oh, okay. So I was, I was also thinking of a way to get 
uh, toast out of the toaster. Wait, we were going back to the toaster for a minute. I was trying to come up with a way to get toast out of the toaster without burning my hands, okay? Because everybody knows you don't stick a fork in. But yeah, that's Very bad idea. Like, yeah. I don't want to use my hands because it burns them. One could say that's a very chaotic idea. No, no it's not a chaotic idea. It's just a bad idea. But I don't know the proper way to get toast out of the toaster. Is it tongs? Do they expect you to use tongs? Like rubber tongs? <laughs> no, metal tongs. Same as the fork. No, yeah, rubber tongs. <laughs> rubber or plastic. <laughs> like, surely they don't expect that, right? You're not, like, as part of this I mean, toaster set, we're giving you a set of tongs so that you can actually use the toaster. Um, uh, bro, I just burned my hands. We've already I talked about how hot it gets, though. Already talked about yeah, it. Exactly. it gets like a fucking a thousand degree. Yeah, you want I you just... to stick your hand on a I mean, thousand degree bread? I I don't know. I just it pops up. I take it. I'm like burning myself, but I just slap it down on a plate like instantly. Not. A, I'm not saying it's the best idea or the best solution, but uh, tongs is it... tongs would be better than that, yeah. But what is your idea? My idea is so the way I've started to do it is very stupid. I unplug the toaster and flip the toaster upside down over the plate. Well, that's <laughs> that's actually pretty logical. But the problem with that is that I end up pouring tons of burnt breadcrumbs all over my plate too. That's also, yeah, that's also the reason why people probably so, don't do that. Yeah, it just remove the uh breadcrumb tray before you. There's not a breadcrumb tray. Flip it. There's not one. I don't have a seven hundred dollar toaster, John. I don't. I don't have a fucking seven hundred dollar fucking toaster either. My toaster I'm is not like a thirty dollars at a Kroger brand toaster. I don't have a bread tray. A bread crumb tray. You clean spend that by like a, dumping it over. Spend like a extra ten dollars. You'll have a fucking crumb tray. It seems like a lot of effort. Why could you? Dump it upside down. Yeah, I guess that's true. Who spends ten dollars to not have to turn their toaster over once every like month? I mean, that's not why I did it specifically. I, why I did it was like to have all like the little niche settings that I you don't use, right? Literally never. Use. That's right. You got baited. Yeah. You got marketed. Yeah, I just put the like if it. If it's a bagel, I just toss in the bagels, and just put it down mm -hmm. at like a certain like setting. Mm -hmm. That's it. I just had a great idea. You ever have toaster strudels? Yeah, I fucking yeah. love toaster yeah. What's your favorite? Bro? Uh, strawberry. Okay, so now we're going to ignore that you just said that. And we're going to say, right. I'm going to invent a toaster strudel. That is like a meat pie. Like a UK meat pie. I feel like I would eat that still. So it's going to be like... A br oh no, these already exist! They're called breakfast toaster screws. <laughs> Fuck, they're, they're, these exist already. Damn it, I remember. There's a fucking Good. bacon, egg, and cheese one. Oh wait! Damn it! You're right! Fuck. Damn you! Kel or not Kellogg's. Pillsbury. Fuck. I haven't had those in so long. Oh, breakfast scramblers or whatever the fuck. Damn it. I actually forgot those existed until I came up with the idea again. Fucking. Those are so good. I'm mad. Actually. I'm mad. Damn it. The only way I'm going to make money is by selling $150 mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, let's let's be realistic though. 
we might not be able to outmarket them, mm-hmm. but we can make them better. That's not going to make us more money. What do you mean? If we make them better, people are still going to buy those because they'll be cheaper because ours are better, which means they have to cost more or we'd be losing money. Not not necessarily. You just have to find a way to make them just as cheap, but better. Do you know like a pig better farmer? Better tasting. Than them. Do you know a pig farmer personally, John? No. We're going to have to pay for some good bacon. They were screwed. Yeah, I I mean, well, I mean, I only know cow farming. Oh, fuck. We can't do steak. And that's in South Carolina <sighs> as well. Yeah, we can't do a steak breakfast one. Actually, Philly cheesesteak one would be cool. Make them those sandwiches. Why don't we just do sandwiches? Oh, those are Pop-Tarts. They're not Pop-Tarts. Uh, Hot Pockets. <sighs> God damn it. What the fuck are you even saying? Right I was now? like, we could do that, but with like sandwiches, like we could do like a Philly cheesesteak one, we could do like a ham and cheese one, and then like these exist. These are hot pockets. They're all taken. Damn it, Justin. They're all fucking taken. And and later on, we're gonna look up the patent for the tire. And the it's fucking... gonna be taken. Yeah, it's gonna be taken. Fuck. Bro. I'm screwed, man. All my ideas are too good, they already exist. I need to find one that's not so good, but it's good enough to make and then make money. Because then people will be like, that's a good idea now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. You have made me sad. Yeah. Fucking hot pockets. You got me got me excited and then you also ended up still getting me excited because I completely forgot about the the, the breakfast toaster strudels. Yeah. I haven't had those in fucking a long time, huh? Yeah, it's been like it's like eight years ago. Yeah. Like anywhere between eight to ten years. Nope. Like, like that, that's in, that's in fucking insane. Yeah. Oh, when you come down here, you gotta try oh. tortured tacos, man. Yeah, I'm done. Hell yeah. You're paying. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't care. I don't care if I have to pay. I'll. I'll pay for the whole crew, whoever is there. Bring all your friends. Look, you're gonna. You're gonna get there. You're not gonna. You won't. If you've never had Torchy's tacos, you won't understand why that's a problem. I spent four hundred dollars on Torchy's tacos in five days. I bought a lot of tacos. I had like fifty tacos in five days. Yeah, but that's on show. You no, no, no. It's it's more a problem of you don't understand. You're gonna become addicted, and you're gonna fly down here like once a week just to have Torchy's tacos. Well, that would be a. <laughs> it's gonna be a money be... sink. I'm telling you. That would be a weird problem. <laughs> it's that good. That would be a. Very weird addiction. Still not sponsored by Torchy's Tacos, by the way. I'm gonna email him. <laughs> First sponsor you, on the podcast, Torchy's Tacos. You should, you should email some, like some spot, like some people to get sponsored by. Yeah, I know, I should, but I haven't. Why? Please do that. I'm not an email guy, man. I don't write email. You don't even have to email. Well, in, uh, in some cases. Nothing that's weird. But... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta email. I can't text them. I don't have the CEO's personal phone number. <laughs> hey, man. Yo, have you seen the new episode of the podcast, bro? It's lit. You gotta check it out. 
we talk about mangoes or Torchy's tacos. You gotta sponsor this one. Kids are gonna, what the fuck? It would have to be a business email. Have you even monetized the video? You can't. I can't yet. There's no money oh, to yeah, be made here. To... This is purely for entertainment. Yeah, you have to have, like, a certain viewer account yeah, or subscriber both. account, yep. right? Oh, both. You have both. Oh. Yeah. I did not know that. I'll tell you the number in between. It's big. It's a number that I'm not reaching soon. So it's purely for fun. Who knows? Well, it's definitely not going to be soon. <laughs> it's a big number. I don't think you understand. You, le you legit never know if YouTube algorithm. Well, considering That's I forgot a... to tag the first video. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being a fucking papay. I remembered the next two, and then I went back and tagged the first one, alright? But for the first week, that one was not tagged. Still got 24 views. We take those. Yeah, ironically, that one got the most out of yes. all of them yes, so far. It did. I mean, granted, it was uploaded before all of them. But yes, yeah. it got the most in the shortest amount of time with zero tags. Yeah, that's a. Yeah. That's a. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up and now I'm, I look stupid. I feel stupid. Oh, God. All right. That being said, it's time for us to make more drinks because we're going to be ending this one off at a solid, a solid length of time for this one. I'll be real with you. A solid one hour, <laughs> one minute, and. It's not right, yeah. Well, two minutes. Okay. Uh, six seconds. Does that feel like an hour, John? No. Yeah. It's something. Recording something. Podcasting is something. All right. Uh, thanks everybody for listening. Thanks for uh, popping in. Be sure you pop in for the next week's episode coming up. Of course, Tuesday at midnight. Well, Tuesday at midnight for the East Coast. That is. And uh, you know, subscribe if you think it's remotely enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> like if you think that this wasn't the worst episode yet. And I don't know, fucking write something in the comments. I don't care what it is. Subscribe if you love Justin. Alright, long well, screen. And also, subscribe if you want to see some more of me at some point. And, and the boat. Don't forget the boat. And and also the boat. The boat's going to be. Subscribe. Honestly, subscribe and like for the boat. The boat's going to get. Like, us. Uh, every video. Every single video that is uploaded, subscribe for the boat. I'm telling you, man. And like for the boat. That's right. Because it's that be shit trip. will be happening. It's going to be a trip. It's going to be something. It's going to be dumb. No good will come from the boat, but it will be the most chaotic episode because we're going to be in the middle of a lake struggling. It's, it's going to be... Maybe fishing. Wild. I might fish. But amazing. I might do it might be a little bit of a fishing one. We might see. We'll see. Alright. That being said. Uh thanks for listening. Have a good one. And uh see you next week with uh John again. So <laughs> uh have a good one. Later. Have a good one, guys.